Coming up on the paper talk today, we'll be looking at some comings and goings. What is happening at Manchester United? Are we going to be doing anything in the January transfer window? Surely we've got to be bringing in a striker, haven't we? Especially with Anthony Martial being uh, out for 10 weeks. Well, it might not be the case, so we'll get into all that. We'll also look at what's going to be happening this summer. There's a few players that are being linked with a move. Some players you might look at and go, really? United are looking to sell them? But we know that FFP is a thing, so according to a few reports in different papers, there could be a bit of a file sale going on, and there could be a decision made as well on Mason Greenwood. He's been doing well at Getafe. Barcelona of all clubs are interested in him as well. It could be a big move there. So we'll get into all that. Plus we'll talk about a couple of other little stories doing the rounds as well. Let's get into it. <laughs> Jay Hibbs, for Paddock. This is the paper talk. As you can see, I'm outside Old Trafford and it's a little bit chilly so make sure you've got your parkers on if you've got them uh, loads of stories to get through so we'll get through all of them before we do all that though hit that like share and subscribe button we want to get to 750,000 subscribers by the end of the season and with your support yes you we can get there uh, right let's crack into it because we're going to talk a little bit about this fire sale we're having Mason Greenwood a couple of other players an academy fire sale basically a load of players that have come through the academy could be on their way out this summer as we look to generate some funds looking like we could generate a around 100 million quid in terms of transfers which hopefully will be reinvested into players coming in that's what we'd expect to see especially under the new regime with Sir Jim Ratcliffe but before we get into that we've got a couple of other stories we'll talk about as well Anthony Martial looks like we had this last night doesn't look like he's going anywhere in January he's got that injury they're not going to sell him when he's injured so he's going to be sticking around we'll have to wait and see though what happens in the summer I think the evening news are speaking about that as well whether he's going to go in the summer it looks like to all intents and purposes, he is going to go in the summer and there's a chance he may well have played his last game for Manchester United. Also, in other news, Dan Gore has been confirmed as going on loan to Port Vale until the end of the season. Good move for him. I like Dan Gore. Good young midfielder. Great to see him get some minutes, hopefully, at Port Vale and come back next summer and maybe see what happens next summer in terms of next season, whether he's going to stay at Old Trafford, get another loan move. Still only 19 years old, but it looks like a real sidey midfielder. Um, they had a bit of a unlucky time of it in pre-season was it got sent off didn't he against Wrexham I think it was uh, a bit of harsh but yeah going out on loan to Port Vale should do him the world of good and we can see how that one pans out for him now on this sort of fire sale that I was mentioning earlier with uh, the likes of Mason Greenwood Scott McTominay Hannibal Medsbury uh, all been mentioned as potentially going out the Old Trafford door in the summer I think it's the I newspaper it's also been covered by the Manchester Evening News as well they're saying that Eric Tenag or Manchester United, because it might even be Eric Tenag in the summer, are ready to offload all these players to generate some funds. Now, there's been some question marks about Mason Greenwood, whether Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos are going to be willing to keep him, are going to want to keep him. He's having a decent spell at Getafe. I think he's got around seven goal involvements in 16 games or something like that. Has had some very good performances, though. I think when he played Atletico Madrid, Ansan Griezmann uh, was absolutely raving about him, saying he's one of the best wingers they've faced. So, his stock's sort of ra risen, and he seems to be blowing the cobweb, cobwebs off himself after, what was it, almost two years of not playing football, getting back to towards the player he was before he stopped playing. Barcelona are interested in him. Obviously, if they're interested in him, it's going to be attractive to the player and it could be a good deal for Manchester United if Barcelona are willing to stump up the kind of money that Manchester United want for Mason Greenwood. I don't think you're going to get mega money for him because of what's happened because of the fact he's not played a lot of football also there's this little bit of a cloud over him let's not pretend there isn't so maybe you're looking at around 40 to 50 million quid for mason greenwood probably closer to the 40 million quid mark depending on what happens between now and the end of the season as well of course he could also join the likes of scott mctominay and one or two others hannibal medjby has been another one who's been suggested could go out as well permanently in the summer transfer window like i said this has been reported in a few newspapers so Looks like Manchester United may be looking towards making a decision on Mason Greenwood and one or two others. We know Scott McTominay obviously did that podcast the other day, didn't he, with uh, Jake Humphrey. There's been a lot of sort of talk and noise around Scott McTominay, what's going to happen with him. Was having a really good spell at United. He scored like five goals and in sort of a short number of games. Hasn't quite been the same player over the last couple of months or whatever it's been, six weeks or whatever. Hasn't been scoring, obviously missed that sitter against Spurs as well. I think the problem that a lot of people have with Scott McTominay is that he's not, if he's not getting your goals, 
he's probably not contributing like you'd want him to in midfield. That's a criticism that's often levelled of him. And you have to wonder whether the new manager or whether it's an argument if there is going to be a new manager, if it's not going to be a new manager, sorry. World Water keeps Scott McTominay in that midfield. You've got Casemiro coming back. There's question marks what's going to happen with him long term. Reports that he could end up going to Saudi Arabia, of course. You've got Kobe Mainu, who's been doing really well. Looks like a, an absolute superstar, one for the future. You've also got Christian Eriksen. You've also got Mason Mount. You've also got Bruno Fernandes. There's other options in there. When Scott McTominay has been playing in midfield lately, he's been pushed further up. He's been almost like an attacking midfielder. And when you think, well, potentially Mason Mount can play there, potentially Bruno can play there, do you really need Scott McTominay in that role? Or would it be better served to move him on, get some money in for him, alongside the likes of Mason Greenwood and one or two others, and then use those funds to buy players as well? Because you know the FFP is a real thing. We're not Manchester City, it doesn't count here. So Manchester United are going to have to deal with that, going to have to deal with the FFP sort of regulations. So that doesn't mean you can just go out now and go, well, so Jim Ratcliffe spent a load of money, give us a load of money, we can go and buy all these new players. It doesn't work like that. You have to balance the books a little bit. And if you can get rid of sort of three or four players for about 100 million quid, because I think you can get quite a bit for Scott McTominay, maybe around the 30, possibly even 40 million pound mark, if I'm not being too adventurous there plus a little bit more for one or two others, then you could generate the £100 million that has been suggested in the I newspaper and the Manchester Review News as well and bring in some new players because we know that Manchester United do need to invest. We need to get a striker in, but it doesn't look like we're going to get a striker in in January. I've seen that being reported elsewhere as well. So maybe in the summer, well, I think no maybe is about it. In the summer, we definitely go have to go out and get a striker at least and one or two others. They're going to cost money and that money could be generated by selling some of the players I've mentioned because... Manchester United have to balance these books and we have to get signings in. Uh, like I said, doesn't look like we're going to be doing much business in the January transfer market. There was a report, I think I've seen it in the Manchester United News and one or two other places, about just the lack of activity and about the fact that there might not be anyone coming in in this January transfer market, despite Anthony Martial picking up that injury. He's out for 10 weeks and we've only got Rasmus Hoyland as a recognised striker. I know Marcus Rashford can play down the middle, but being overly reliant on Rasmus Hoyland does worry me a little bit because I don't think Marcus Rashford is suited to play down the middle, even though he can do that. It just seems that Manchester United are in a position where we can go and get a striker. We were linked with Kareem Benzema. There's been a report in a couple of newspapers. I think I've seen it, Sky Sports' news roundup, and it seems to have come from the Sun as well. Hashtag don't buy the Sun. That Man don't sun, not the Sun. That Manchester United were almost offered Kareem Benzema. It looked like it was an option but weren't willing to pay the wages that it would have taken to bring him to Old Trafford. He's on silly money in he over at Saudi. I think he's on about 850 grand a week or something like that. United weren't going to do that, especially not now. You know, according to constant reports, we're in this new regime where we're going to have a new approach to transfers. We aren't going to spend mega money. We aren't going to dish out these silly contracts to players, which is one of the reasons you might see a few players moving on as well. I'm going to wrap it up there. We've got loads of good stuff coming up later on today as well. We've got off the bat, myself, Stephen Housen, Adam McCullough and Joe Smith are going to be back for that one. So make sure you are hitting like, share and subscribe. I'm in Jay Motty outside a pretty cold Old Trafford. Thanks for watching.